we don't like to use the word spiritual because we don't talk about energy in, in terms of spirit because we was always taught spirit was a false energy. You know, they, they use spirit to motherfucking oppress us, so we had to de-religify the people. We had to take the mystery away from them, right? Well, spirit just means breath. Well, now we're bringing it back, but we got to give them back the right reference points because we got to tell them that spirit is really energy. So the energy can be in your breath, but it could also be in a liquor. That's why you can drink a spirit. Mm -hmm. You can also be in low spirits, you can be in high spirits. So motherfucker be dealing with spirituality all the goddamn time, we just had to extract the mystery from it. See, now that people don't want no religion, now that people don't do like this, oh please God, oh please, they don't do that no more. We broke them off that, that was the gods. So everybody should all say all praise due to Allah when they, oh please Jesus, they're not doing that no more. The most they'll be like is be like, Jesus, how do I figure this shit out? That's what they do now, right? Oh, oh Ludamari, oh yeah. You know, Eshu, somebody, tell me something. At least you calling on an ancestor. Because if you West African, that motherfucker is part of your family tree in real life. You got the blood of Eshu in you. Because that was a real physical being. That's why, not just this book, but with the other one. Black God, Black God, we talk on that. Like, yo, Shiva, Krishna, Kali, Asar, Arset, mm -hmm. them was people. And if we don't be careful 2,000 years from now, it'll be a bunch of motherfuckers brainwashed and a motherfucker ain't nobody free talking about Allah like oh, Allah was a savior God too. He was born on December 25th. <laughs> why? Because we don't want to talk about Allah. That's why I always like saying Allah said Allah did, Allah said Allah did. And because being a historian, I wish a motherfucker, I want a motherfucker to be in the comments and be like, correction, Allah did that in 1963, not 64. Good. This is what we do. This is an academic community. This is an intelligent community. This is what we do when we respect some. Because if we don't, then we end up with the mythology of Jesus. We don't know when he was born, when he died, who was his mama, who was his daddy, did he have brothers, did he not? Did he ever cuss, did he not cuss? Was he a vegetarian, was he not? Was he gay, was he not? We don't fucking know. Because we let motherfuckers wait a hundred years to talk about the motherfucking write it down. Nah, we ain't about to do a whole bunch of hearsay. We got tapes of Allah speaking. We got records of what he did. And we still have living people that was there with him. We can get every one of their perspectives and have some kind of sensible idea, not only who he was, but then we need to know who they was. Who was the ones that did in the next generation? Then the next generation. Then you get to find out about me. I'm what, fourth, fifth generation? It took five motherfuckers between Allah and me. It's five people that had to preserve these teachings and get who is the original man down to Pluto is 3,680 million miles away from the sun and the cultural tradition to go along with that and then to pass it on to another motherfucker. That motherfucker had to have in their heart enough to want to pass it on to another motherfucker. So then I could finally get it. And that's the beauty of what we do when we really preserve a culture. So to answer that question, how do we preserve the culture? What's our quote? Te keep it simple and teach it real. That's how. Keep it simple and teach it real. If Mega did this.